Hello, my beautiful, beautiful Narc Free family. My name is Cree. Thank you for joining me here today. Um, I just wanted to have a little chit chat with you all about your energy. And y'all don't mind the, um, some of y'all may know and some of y'all may not know that I have another um, YouTube channel where I do DIYs and I have not worked on that channel in a long time. And then I saw these couple of chairs on the side of the road and I picked them up to use to work on that channel so y'all just act like y'all don't see those little chairs back there but um what I wanted to say is that when you're shifting your focus it's very important it is highly imperative I hope I'm using the right word it is imperative I don't know if you can put highly in front of it but that you shift your focus off of all the crazy making okay um remember that a narcissist is someone who's mentally unstable they're mentally unhinged okay so they are going to do things to you and you need to understand that you cannot take any of it personal they either see you as on their team and helping them with all their stuff or you're not on their team and you're their enemy and some of y'all know you have one that's trying to sabotage everything that you do some of y'all have had a uh, cps called on you about your children or they've you know denied your visitation with your kids denied your uh, phone calls to your children all these kinds of things well just know that all of that kind of behavior is to get a reaction out of you the more you learn that that's what it is the better that you can starve them of your reactions okay because that's all they want they want to be relevant some of y'all have been going through this so long that you can already predict what the narcissist is going to do next based off of their uh, previous behavior so some of y'all know you, you're going to understand when they have reached their rock bottom. Like uh, maybe some of y'all, they've been trying to sabotage you for years and then they do call a uh, CPS on you, but you knew that they were going to do that. And then you also know that that's, that's their last play. That's their last game. Okay. So whatever the, the worst thing that, that they could do um, when they do that, uh, they may have played a lot of other games, but then they start doing something more serious. Just be prepared for it. Instead of um, instead of getting to this weak state, because that's what they want. They want you to become unhinged like them. It's almost like um, they try to do everything to you that has happened to them maybe in their childhood all the trauma that they face it's like they want you to be able to understand it by forcing you to be destitute like they were um maybe you married them and they didn't have a um a bed they had an air mattress but when they leave the marriage they take the bed as if they're entitled to it but remember narcissists um they do feel entitled to things that they haven't worked for that don't belong to them uh, they feel entitled to you they feel like you are their property and they are entitled to do with you what they please now but keep in mind that's just the way they feel that is not reality so to rise above getting trapped because they're trying to trap you here they're trying to trap you in your mind okay instead of getting wrapped up in whatever it is that they're doing to you get wrapped up in self-care self-love get wrapped up in doing things for yourself every time they uh, do another something crazy to you have a list of things that are your go-to things that you're working on your goals maybe so maybe every time they they do something to you you're working on paying the credit card off let's just say that and so they do something else crazy to you make an extra payment on your credit card okay so that now you've taken the focus off of what they're doing to you and on to chasing after your dreams of being debt free okay or maybe they do something to you and you're wanting to travel i love using that travel travel example um you look for the trip you want to take and figure out how much that trip is going to cost and uh maybe 
uh, open up a separate account where money automatically goes from your regular uh, checking account and every week a portion of money goes over to your vacation fund okay start getting um, about yourself minded okay instead of being uh, I don't say narcissist minded but they are trying to put the focus they're trying to take your focus and put it onto them hoping that they will break you and that they will get a reaction out of you but what if you flip that and put the focus on you what if everything they're trying to do bad to you you turn it and you make it into something good okay just say for instance they're coming for you and you're trying to lose weight okay well they just did something else crazy instead of you waddling over what they did that was crazy this time you go for a run you go for a walk you um you drink a a bottle of water like every time they do something crazy you have a little something you do for you by the time you finish drinking that bottle of water by the time you finish going for that walk and listening to your music or your affirmations you come back feeling brand new and they know when your energy has shifted and it is no longer on them and then they will come still doing higher levels of stuff like new level new devil but don't worry about that you got higher levels of self-love that you're going to put on your list so every time they do something your response is i'm looking out for me they they ain't crazy over here i'm looking out for me over here i'm going to my list they trying to traumatize me they mess with my children i'm over here on my list paying off that credit card i'm over on my list focused on uh you know some place i'm gonna go for the weekend some new restaurant they over here acting a fool, acting a fool, acting a fool. I'm over here blessing up, blessing up, blessing myself, blessing somebody else. And y'all, I want to say this too. If you really want to take the focus off of the narcissist, find somebody you can be a blessing to, okay? Um, if you, y'all that know about seed time and harvest, okay? Some of y'all are avid tithers and you understand how seed time and harvest works sow seed into somebody's life um say for instance someone's going on a trip and you want to travel okay give that person a piece of money to just so they can do some extra on their trip they may not need the money they may they may have money but you just want them to be able to do some extra sow that money and sow it with the intent that i want them to be able to do some extra and i want this narcissist off my back and i am going to put some some money where my mouth is you don't have to tell them what you're doing but you can sow into people's lives to get the ruminating to shut off because here you are now being generous with someone you got all these problems this narcissist is hunting you down they messing with your kids they're doing everything and instead of you getting caught up in what they're doing you're shifting your focus oh i got a friend who's going on a trip i'm gonna bless them I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give to them for this trip. Well, that's going to take your focus off of the narcissist. And it's also going to get good seed in the ground for something that you want to do. And I hope, I hope y'all are getting that. The whole goal is to get your focus off of the narcissist. Their whole goal is to make themselves relevant and for you to always be focused on them. And so they act a fool, act a fool, act a fool. And your goal is to be over here where you're looking at your list of goals. You're chasing after your dreams. You get your glow up. You, you listen, get yourself some special coffee. Go to a, a, a coffee place that you have, you know, never been to. If you're a coffee drinker, whatever it is that you like, put a little extra on it. Get you a little something extra. Buy a bigger size for yourself. Try something different. You know, go sit down at a more expensive coffee place than you've been going to. Um, you know, go to, to a bookstore. Shift your thinking by changing what you're doing, okay? That's going to change the way you're thinking because now you've got to think about, okay, well, where am I going to go to do this something different? How far away is this place? What day am I going? You understand what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, you done forgot about a little crazy over here, making a big mess over here, over here having a little temper tantrum like they do. You over here chasing after your dreams, walking in greatness, okay? 
It is absolutely positively about shifting your focus, thereby shifting where your energy goes, okay? And thank y'all for joining me. Anyone who is looking for coaching, look down below this video. You'll see my email address. You can reach out to me there. Anyone who wants to donate to the channel, there is a link down there for that. It says, buy me a coffee. It is a virtual tip jar, basically. Anyone who, who feels led to donate to the channel. That's, that's all. Anyone who feels led to uh, subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it. I hope that it has been helpful. I hope that y'all are getting your glow up. I'm doing more of these same kind of messages because I feel like, you know, you hear something one time and it doesn't really stick. But when you hear it over and over and over and over and over and over again, you are rewiring your mind to forget about a little crazy. And get over here, you glow up, okay? <laughs> Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye-bye, my beautiful, dark, free family. Mwah.